In this video, I'm going to show you how to do search engine optimization without a pay tool. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bridget. I'm an Etsy print on demand seller on a mission to help other Etsy sellers start and scale their business in a stupid, easy way. So if you like this type of content, please subscribe, like, hit the bell so you can be notified of the next time I release a new one. So let's get right into Etsy. Okay, so now that we're on Etsy, I love to do um, research in an incognito window because what happens is when you keep using the same browser, Etsy will just keep serving you the same type of things that you search and we want to get like different type of items. We don't want to keep getting the same things. So again, when you're doing the SEO, you're going to search here, whatever is it that you, the niche that you're in. So again, going back to the dog mom, if you're selling for the dog mom and let's say you're trying to create you're doing a sweatshirt so you'll just go here and then dog mom sweatshirt what you can do here is sort here you can sort here by most recent the most recent it just means that either a is sold recently or b this seller just posted this listing so this can help you kind of figure out you know if it might be a best seller or not or you can also go into um the filters and you can go to start seller click on that apply and then at the top you'll you'll replace the star with best and then this will help you find all the best sellers for this niche then you'll scroll down you'll skip obviously the ones that are running ads and then you'll just start clicking right you start clicking this one's already telling you that they're best sellers so you would just click on those and let's say, you know, we found a handful, right? So now we created, you know, a design for a poodle mom. So what you will do is this is how you know if the item or I'm sorry, if the SEO is good is you're looking at this is a bestseller. So it's sold multiple times. It actually even telling you here that it's in demand. Six people bought this in the last 24 hours. So you know the SEO is good. And also they have like 93 reviews, you know. And then if you scroll at the bottom, it will also tell you when it last sold. As I'm recording this video, today is November 8th and it sold today, November 8th. So the SEO for this listing is really good. So then you'll go and do the same thing for all the other listings. Same thing, 20 plus in the car is a bestseller. It got 85 reviews, it last sold November 8th. And it will be the same thing for this other design, 20 plus in the card, bestseller. This one has six reviews, but it lasts so on the eighth. And this other one, 11 in the card is a bestseller. It has over 800 reviews and it lasts so the fifth. So we know that the SEO for these listings are good. So then what you'll do is you'll um, look through all the different ones and figure out what they have in their title that can help you form your own title. So if you're doing um, a poodle, then you'll just figure out like tears, like they're saying dog mom. Well, yeah, you you have, you're selling to a dog mom. So the mom, dog mom, and you're making a sweat or you're creating a sweatshirt. So dog mom sweatshirt is a good keyword for you to use. So you just, you know, grab that. Let's say, sorry, we'll add it to, Okay, so we'll do dog, so we know dog mom sweatshirt, right? That works. And then you keep looking at that, like dog mom gift could work too, possibly. So you just add them on your list and then you can kind of like pick from all of them. Dog mom give, you already dog, got, oh dog, that one was dog mama, but you can do dog mom sweatshirt, dog lover gift. And then, oh, dog parent, that can work too. Dog parent sweatshirt. And then you'll go to the next one and you'll see what sort of SEO they have. Custom, if your design is not a custom, then you're not gonna do that. But let's see what else is different. Dog mom give, you already have that one. And you'll just keep doing that and you'll move on to the next one. And you can do, let's see, gift for dog mom. You will just type gift for dog mom. I cannot spell. And you'll just keep, you know, finding whatever will work for your um, design. 
So let's see, dog mom shirt. Well, you don't have a shirt, you're selling a sweatshirt. Another way to find more keywords is you can scroll all the way to the bottom and all these keywords down here are their tags. So you can also use those or add those to your list. So once you have like a list, then what you can do is you can plug and play to see out of all this, you know, list of keywords that you have, which ones work the best with your design. So obviously you created a poodle mom design, which is a lot more specific than just saying dog. So what you can do instead, you can obviously add like this dog mama sweatshirt is part of your keyword, but then you can do poodle mama sweatshirt. And then this is how you would do it. And then you can do dog mom, right? Because you don't have dog mom sweatshirt. And then instead of using the same type of, uh, description like describing it like sweatshirt like keep using sweatshirt over and over again find other ways that somebody would um call a sweatshirt so it could be a sweater right or a pullover a crew neck so that's also how you can help find you know describe the same item but in different ways and then you just like you know like dog lover give that could work but then you can also go and you find this dog moms, but you create a design for the poodle, right? So then now you can go in the search and look poodle. So let's say a poodle mom sweatshirt and then just see what pops up. And the same thing, you just kind of go and you'll click on listings. This also, this one is not truly a bestseller, but it is 11 in the cart. It has five reviews. And it's so like November 2nd, which I mean, it's not that far, but let's see if we can find some other ones. So Poodle. Poodle. Okay. This one has six views in the last 24 hours. Last October 34. So let's not do that one. This one is seven in the cart. Last little it's over 19. So you see sometimes and that might be as current but like for example this one obviously is not a bestseller so this is the other thing too depending on the niche that you're in you might not have like a bestseller bestseller but if it has this many in the car and the day that it sold is recent then the seo is good and it also has this many reviews so this is just to kind of help you you know finish that um the seo for your poodle mom sweatshirt so you already have some, you know, genetic, sorry, generic dog mom um, SEO, but now you're looking to get in more specific. So now you can kind of see, okay, what this, let's say seller has that you don't have that you can add into it. So you can do like, you know, like for example, funny poodle owner gift, what you don't have something like that. So if that applies to your design, then you can, you know, funny poodle dog mom. So you can add that. So this is how you will, um, go into formulating this um, SEO without having a pay tool. So you will literally just go on Etsy and you would just search your niche and then you will try to find bestsellers if you can. Sometimes you might not. And especially the deeper you go into the niche, like for example, when you're just doing dog mom, you're going to find a whole lot of bestsellers. But if you start going more specific into the type of dogs, I mean, you'll find some, but you might not, but you're still going to find demand. And don't think that those don't sell because they do. They'll probably do even better than the dog mom, especially as a new seller, because your competition is lower. So find, you know, 20 plus in the car or bestsellers. If you cannot find 20 plus in the car or bestseller, when did it sold recently? The reviews, those that at least have some items in the car. And then those should all be signs that the SEO for that listing is good. Find several of them, figure it out which ones do make sense to what you're selling. Add a whole list of them like I did. Go and, you know, add a whole list and then formulate your title based on all those different keywords that you found. So you made it to the end of this video. And if you're still struggling with how to put a whole listing together, then I'm going to be linking this video next because in that video, I'll walk you step by step from finding a bestseller, creating the design in Canva, and finishing it up in Printify and publishing it on Etsy. So I'll see you guys on the next one.